Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you some simple customizations that you can make to your project plan that will make your life easier. So first of all, I'm just going to get a blank project plan. Now the first one I want to talk about is this view bar down this left hand side. These are this, the views, default views that you get and views that you create or go into can also get populated in this area. Now normally when you open a project file, if I just right click there, the view bar is not there. It just sits like this, Gantt chart. To activate it, you need to right click there and then you can see down the bottom there you've got view bar. You tick that on and there you go. There's the view bar. Now the other thing I always have on my project plans is this entry bar across the top, which is a bit like Excel. Because if I just type a task there, task A, if I wanted that to be task A1, and you go to double click it like you would in Excel, you can put a, a one on that. Now, but sometimes when you double click, it opens up task information, which is slightly irritating. So what I do is I tend to click on it and then go up there and like Excel and just change it up there and click the tick. Then I don't get that box coming up. So if you're a bit too quick, you get the task information coming up all the time so that's why I put the view bar on there you can use the key command F2 gets you in there and other other things as you saw so that's two now the other one I want to look at is the task mode so down the bottom we've got new tasks set to auto scheduled and if I click on that you can see the other option there manual scheduled now I've already got this set up, so every time I um, open a new, create a new project, it's going to be on this. But by default, it's set to manual scheduling. So the difference is, this is on auto scheduled, and immediately I did that task. It put the dates in, today's date. If I put a task to manual and do task B, that's all I get. I don't get any of this information and I don't get an indicator on the Gantt chart. So some people like to work in that way, but personally I don't. I'd rather see the information and put the information in there than use links to schedule this and durations to schedule this, which is what project was designed for. It was designed as a scheduling tool. It's a lot more than that now, obviously, but that's what it was initially designed for. So to set that up so it's on automatic all the time, you need to go into File and Options and Schedule. And down here, look, you need to change that to All New Projects need to be set on Auto Scheduled. So they will be on Manually Scheduled. And also the Display is where you tick the entry bar on. So remember that's this thing across the top there, which look, looks a bit like Excel, the formula bar on Excel. That's where you put that on, on the display. So schedule to set this up for all new projects. That's got that's key. And it won't do it for this project. If this was on manual, this would still be on manual. They'd have to change this one. Um, but for every new project, that will be changed. If I just click OK to that, because that's set up. Now, another thing you can do is change how this duration is displayed. So at the moment, and the default setting, it's set to show duration in days. Now, if I insert the work column, so I'll just insert, type W to get to the W's work. Work is set to hours, but you might want the duration to be set into hours or minutes or whatever your duration that you work in, you want it setting and changing from the default. So again, you have to go back into file options this time schedule so we've just we've just been in here for this and this is where you come also for duration is entered in days and then you just change that to say hours and then you want that all new projects i'm not going to do that because i don't want mine to all change but for this project it is going to change and then click ok to that and then the duration is going to be set in hours so if I type eight that was six I typed eight hours I'll type for that first one 
And if I do another task, task C, it defaults to the eight hours, so that has worked. And there's no hours for work because there's no resources allocated. So that's just a few little customizations that I tend to make uh, when I'm doing projects. Hopefully it was of use. Obviously in that um, project options, there's a lot, lot more you can have a look at and change. There is the calendar options as well. You can change the start time for the calendar. I'll just show you that actually, because I've just reminded myself. Options on the, on the um, schedule, you've got week starts on a Monday and the fiscal year starts in January. So I get asked quite often about this. A lot of people have theirs starting in April and then that's what you can, you can tick that if you want or you can just leave it as it is. But you, that's the default is January and you can change that if you need to. So I'll just cancel that off because I don't want to change it. So that's all I'm going to talk about in this little video. So hopefully those little tips have been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.